he doesn't need me to speak kindly of him. But I will tell you that um, Harry Belafonte, Bill Cosby, when I was a girl in, in the Caribbean growing up, these are the, these are the, the icons of America that, that formed a language for us, you know, in the Caribbean. Right. Um, and, and, and so you can't sanitize your, your, um, your life completely. Um, but I will tell you that his collection, if I were given today, despite where he is, if I were given an opportunity today to meander through the Cosby collection, I would welcome it. Mm -hmm. um, and there are many others that I am sure have large collections, but he was purposeful in his, in his collecting. His wife was, a, was scholarly and, um, and, and we have many examples in contemporary and popular life to, to, you know, to attest to that um, in, in how they did their shows and stuff. So, yeah. I mean, we have, I have, we have collectors in Jamaica that have Caribbean art that is worthy. The difficulty with Caribbean art is that it doesn't get taken to auction. We, we are not defined yet as, uh, as a mature canon that um, is taken to the auction houses. And in, a, in, in this capitalistic multi-billion dollar world that we live in, um, you have to go to auction.